Hi, my name's Mark and welcome to my kitchen. Hi guys, welcome to Kitchen War Gamers and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, so uh, just before I start on with this, I must uh, apologise. Um, my camera stand or my phone stand has broken as I was setting it up. So uh, if it's a bit wibbly wobbly, that's because I'm uh, trying to hold it with one hand and doing something else with the other. So uh, just bear with me for that. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about fanatics, uh, how you get to become a fanatic and what that means uh, in game. Now, once you've become a fanatic um, in game, there are uh, three points uh, to remember about being fanatics and I'll go through each point uh, as we go along. So um, for now, what I'll do is um, just quickly talk about how you become a fanatic. Well, the first one is uh, in your army uh, selector, uh, which I'll uh, show you a picture of just at the end of this. Um, you can see that um, you're either given fanatics as a special rule or you can take it as in the Waffen SS um, some of the units well in the German book uh, army book uh, you can take fanatics but you have to pay for it each man and it's three points per man to go fanatics now in other rules uh, such as the Canadians uh, their rule book um, nominates that they can be fanatics against Waffen SS and you don't have to pay for that. That's like a, a hatred for SS troops because of um, the SS were known for, um, you know, murdering basically uh, Canadian prisoners. And there was one instance where they captured some Canadians, put them in a cellar and um, a few moments later on, they threw grenades down to kill those Canadians uh, in cold blood. Um, so, you know, from that, um, the Canadians hate the Waffen SS, and in game, uh, your Canadians become fanatics when fighting against uh, Waffen SS. Um, okay, um, like I say, I'll put a picture up of the um, selector in the Germans book. Well, that's basically how you become fanatics. Fanatics? Fanatics. You're either in your special rules that you uh, automatically become fanatics. Or you can pay for it like the Waffen SS. Um, you can pay for that per man, and that's uh, three points per man to become that. Okay, what I'll do is do it in segments. Like I say, the other three um, uh, things that uh, apply to being fanatics, and um, I'll see you at the end of that. Okay, cheers, guys. Okay, I'm just using these uh, dice just for uh, quickness. But basically, um, what's happened here is uh, this unit of Waffen SS are um, uh, veterans, so their morale value is at 10. However, they've got 12 pin markers on them. So normally that would mean more pin markers than their morale, so they would have to run and flee the battlefield. However, because they're fanatics, they ignore this also. Up until even if you, so long as you've got two men still alive or taking part, they still carry on as normal until you're down to one. And obviously that's too much then and uh, he'll be gone. Okay, so that's um, fanatics and morale and pin markers. Okay, so these uh, Waffen SS uh, fanatics um, are in a shooting phase. Um, sorry, the Russians are in a shooting phase, so they target the um, fanatic Waffen SS. And the West SS take four casualties, so they've, uh, over half their number has been um, destroyed. So normally you would take a morale test to see if they stick there in the battle. However, because they're fanatics, um, they stay where they are. They automatically pass, unless they're be below um, two men. So if there's one man left, then uh, obviously uh, he would. Um, but as long as you've got two men or over, uh, they automatically test. Uh, pass. <laughs> okay, see you soon. 
Okay, this unit of uh, Russian troops have just gone into uh, charged and gone into hand-to-hand -hand combat with these um, Fnatic Waffen SS. Okay, the Waffen SS have just taken three casualties. So it's their turn to fight back and they only cause one on the Russians. Now normally, because they've got uh, more casualties than the enemy, these would be routed and uh, gone and the points go to the Russians. However, because they're Fnatics, and they have over one man standing, they still fight, carry on fighting. So the next round of combat goes again. Waffen SS lose two, and the Russians lose one. So again, the Russians are one. However, there's still more than uh, one man standing, so they fight a, another round. So in the next round, they lose one man, and the Russians lose uh, don't lose any. Uh, the Waffen SS have actually won. However, because it's only one man, um, they can't do nothing about that, and uh, they've gone. So uh, that's close combat with Fnatics, and as you can see, pretty devastating. So as you saw in my um, other video about tough fighters, so these Waffen SS were tough fighters and Fnatics. Wow, um, yeah, it's always good to do that. And if I can in games, with points allowing, uh, I like to do that as well. Um, just to devastate the enemy um, it's really good as um, you know holding on to uh, objectives or even um, swamping through and trying to take an objective um, and that's how I'd use them okay thanks a lot guys see you soon okay um, like I just said uh, in the last portion um, fanatics um, especially like uh, with with an SS or even the Canadians, if you put uh, uh, fanatics with assault weapons, so the tough fighters, they can be very, very um, hard and, um, well, like the name said, tough to deal with. And like I said before, um, you know, use them for gaining area, uh, taking um, objectives and a bit of a, uh, a punch for you. Um, so always have that in mind when taking them. Okay, I hope that explained um, Fnatics for you and um, hopefully see you if you've not thought about taking them before, give them a go. And um, yeah, so just like to thank everyone who subscribed and to all my subscribers. Um, please don't forget to like this video and leave any comments uh, below. I do read them and get back to you. And also in this uh, series of uh, special rules I'm covering, if there's anything you want me to do specifically, Put it in the comments, uh, I'll have a read and uh, see what I can do for you. Okay, so thanks a lot guys, and in the meantime, remember to make it, paint it, and play it. I'll see you soon, bye.